Hello everyone. In this video, we will be deriving our third equation of motion which is otherwise called as position velocity relation. We already know what is the third equation of motion that is 2as equals v square minus u squared where a is the acceleration of the body, s is the displacement and v and u are the final and initial velocities of the body respectively. So here I have a velocity time graph which is a b. Now here in order to derive this expression we will be finding out the displacement of the body from point a to point b. So for that we will be drawing one perpendicular from point b towards x axis and the point where it touches the x axis let it be c. Now we know that the body has some initial velocity which we have taken as u. So OA will be equal to u that is the initial velocity and the final velocity of the body is given by the length BC of the body which is V and OC denotes the time taken by the body from point A to reach point B. Now, let the body covers the displacement of s in time t. So in time t let the body covers the displacement which is denoted by s. Now the displacement of the body from the graph we can calculate as the area of the trapezium O A B C which is the area under the graph A B. So this, it is this area. That is this area of the shaded region gives us the displacement of the body from point A to point B. So this is what we are going to find here. So S that is the displacement is given by the area of the trapezium OABC. Now we know that the area of the trapezium uh, formula is half into base 1 plus base 2 into height where we generally take the base 1 and base 2 as the two parallel sides of the trapezium and here the two parallel sides are OA and BC respectively. So we will be taking OA as base 1 and BC as base 2 and the height of the parallel height of the trapezium is given by the length OC. So area of the trapezium OABC equals half into base 1 which is OA plus base BC which is the base 2 and OC which we have taken as height of the height of the trapezium. Now here we will be putting all the values in this expression now. So OA we already know it is U which is the initial velocity and BC we also know that it is the final velocity of the body and OC is the time taken by the body. So on putting all these values we have area of OABC equals half u plus v into t. Now this equation let us take this equation as equation number 1. Now from the first equation of motion we have v equals u plus a t from where we can find the value of t as v minus u by a. Now let us take this expression as equation number 1. We will be using these two equations to arrive at our third equation of motion. So the first equation that we have taken is s equals u plus v into t divided by 2 and the second equation that we have is t equals v minus u divided by a. Now we will be putting this value of t from equation number 2 in equation number 1 in this place. That is, we will be replacing this t by this expression over here. So on doing that, we have s equals u plus v into v minus u divided by 2a. On evaluating this, we get s equals v squared minus u squared divided by 2a. We have simply used the formula a plus b into a minus b which equals a squared minus b squared. So that's the simple formula we have used here. So on interchanging the terms that is on bringing 2a to this side we have 2as equals v squared minus u squared 
which is the third equation of motion. So this is how we derive the third equation of motion by this graphical method. I hope this derivation was understandable to you. Thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.